Welcome back to Fashion Nadu. So we're at the Guru in this area, in this misty area, the one that's not in town. We've got a new rank at 1800. Oh, and I guess I can get a password if you guys would like to use one. If you want to use mine, that is. Now I'm just going to kill myself for a quick heal and some gold, losing 700 experience, but that's okay. So the next town is the town of Victim, and we get a new, more overworld areas to explore after that. But you absolutely need a pair of ring boots to get there from here. If you don't have one, you have to backtrack to a previous town to buy one. The town by the fountains and outside the misty area. I think you'll need keys to get back in, so... Make sure to do that, and of course have lots of potions. I'm pretty sure we don't need any queen or jack keys anymore. So I had one extra jack key that I bought a while ago. So that was a mistake on my part, but I guess you don't need to be in the top row here, you can be in the bottom row. But that top left area is exactly where we need to go. I'm just gonna equip my death magic to try it out. One hit. Oh yeah. And I didn't even use that much magic at this level. At lower levels if I bought it in the first off and it needs like a third of my magic, but here we go. So yeah, using magic boots to get to that death magic shop is optional. Wait, oh crap. Can I knock it up here? Oh, I can, yeah. Yeah, the new enemy here, the sorcerers, they can shoot magic and appear inside walls, as you can see. Yes, yeah, even at this high level, I'm still taking tons of damage, so... Level kind of doesn't make this super easy. Your health doesn't change all that much. Oh, I was hoping to fly up to those ladders. I guess I can do it the hard way. Keep that potion ready. Keep that potion equipped. Because you have to jump through these guys. Because if you try to fight them, they'll get tossed off the cliff. Because the knockback is so huge. Castellanius all jumping on knockback. But we made it. Whew. How's it going, people? What's up? Do you have a shop and a, and a temple here? A guru shrine? Magic shield. I don't have a magic shield. Can I buy one here? And the truth is, no, you can't. But let's save here in case I die. So I probably will be dying again to get more gold. After spending it on new armor. That's one thing about having high level, is it makes armor basically free. And we get the full plate. Hoorah. Now you don't need to buy the Mathawk yet, just leave that for now. <laughs> It'll just take up precious inventory space that you need for potions. Make sure you equip it. And check. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let's talk to the people in town now that I've gotten that over with. Oh, uh, yeah, that's your place. Don't want to do the full heal. What's going on in here? Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, magic cane. I want one of those. Okay, I still, yep, I still have to get the meteor right. Oh, black onyx. Okay, so I need to acquire that, hopefully soon. Let's buy some food, heal me up. This time it's 250 instead of 180. Still better off than the hospital healing. Much better off. Oh yeah, we need to get some king keys. I think I need four. Oh, I don't have enough money, of course. Do I have the room? Yeah, I have the room. Now, you don't have to buy all four right away. You can buy a few and then come back for more. But, I think you're better off having four just off the bat and you can spend time out there and just come back for potions. Lost your magic? Oh, I, I still have mine, but I can't sell it to you. I don't understand. 
why he didn't want to drink, but okay. He's smoking. Oh, and we're still technically in the misty area. But there's these new enemies out here. First things first, I gotta kill myself to buy some keys. And I might as well do this on screen, because rather than have another five minute video. So let's just explore and also commit suicide, because we need more gold to buy some king keys. Lots of new enemies in here. This is the difficulty starts to step up here quite a bit. Some enemy enemies we've seen, but any enemy that throws a projectile is going to be more difficult, of course. Everything's so bland and indistinguishable. It's just not a pretty or enjoyable game. Like, it's dark and misty, I get it, but it doesn't have to be this ugly. Oh, yes, I need a king key in here. Oh, I don't. Who's this? Maybe I'll get some plotline done out here. Oh, magic of fire. That magic is not as good as death, but it's better than thunder. Yeah, ma death doesn't appear this list because it's equipped, obviously. But, okay, so for 3,000 gold, we'll keep pursuing the magic of fire. And, okay, and I don't need a key to get in there. I still need four king keys, at least that's what I've written down here. But that's one place that doesn't need a key. I'm gonna need potions to get there and back safely, of course. Okay, well, let's do that. We have time in this video. Well, firstly, I'm gonna buy my keys and kill myself again. Just so I'm prepared. And, then, and next time I'm actually going to fight those enemies and not let them kill me. I really need to upgrade the shop system here. It's one thing they, should, they <laughs> could have done better. Like, the first Zelda game, both of the Zelda games have better shops. All the older ones. I think that's three now. I don't have too many. And four. So, queen keys you only need really if you're backtracking, as far as I know. I don't think we need any coming up. So. Give me some free gold. Kill me for. Kill me and give me 6,000 gold. Come on now. There we go, there we go. The next level is at 22,000. So that might be a while. I'm not going to level grind off screen after this episode. Just so you know. Death. Death. Two shots of death for that guy. But hey, they drop food. It's been a while since we had enemies that drop food reliably. So that's a bonus. Nice way to heal up. Oh, those flying guys didn't actually hurt me all that much. But yeah, death drains your magic really fast, so you really gotta be careful using it. Probably better off using thunder for now. Or actually mag uh, fire that I'm gonna get here pretty soon. Am I going the right way? I thought I went up before. Oh, no, this is the right way. Okay. There we go. Nope, but I want to learn. So those will be my two stable magics. Fire and death. Fire just because it costs less mana and it's good for smaller enemies. Death for bosses, of course. I don't think I'm going to be able to do, be doing any justice with that. Anyway, let's equip it. Oh, I can't equip it in town, of course. And I don't know how to do magic to test it out anyway. Okay, so... There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill myself and... I have room for a bunch more potions, so, okay. That's pretty much the end of this episode. 
So next time we have some actual dungeons to, and towers to enter and items to acquire, missions to accomplish, exploring to do, all that fun stuff. So kind of another slow episode, but it's a slow game. What can I say? Yeah, I'm just gonna fill up my inventory with potions. So basically, you can hold nine items, like I said. Eight here and one in your hand. So, two more potions. Fill myself again. And then we'll head out. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm still recording. Okay. Are you still here? Uh, I checked you. No, you didn't. You can see the end of the video bar, can't you? Yeah, I keep thinking that I still have that 10 or 11 minute limit, so I keep going to end it right there, and then... Oh, I don't have to end it on 10 minutes anymore. Okay, now we're ready to end the video. Okay, next time we explore the new area.